Hello, everybody. Hey, I was just wanting to touch base and uh, talk with you guys a little bit about a question I get asked all the time is, how do I start in mobile phlebotomy? So here I am um, driving in the car, um, coming from seeing a patient uh, from doing a, a mobile uh, blood draw. And people always think, oh, I, get it. I can make so much more money doing mobile phlebotomy and get to set my own hours. Yeah, that's true. You can. But it's also a dedication. So it takes, it takes patience. It takes a lot of dedication, a lot of self-discipline and sacrifice. Because now all of a sudden you're not a, no longer accountable. You don't have to be accountable to anybody. You have to be accountable to your patients that you schedule with, right? And to the clients who want you to schedule their patients. But the big thing is you set your hours now. And so, one thing I tell, I tell phlebotomists is, why? Why do you want to be a mobile phlebotomist? Well, I can make more money. True, you can. You're also going to spend a lot more, right? Because it takes money with gas and, um, and everything. So, you know, you're going to make more money, but you're going to spend more money. So is it going to be a wash? Well, the trick to it is, how is it not going to be? You know, my first... Um, I, I talked with some phlebotomist, one phlebotomist, brand new, starting out her business. <clears throat> I asked her if she could do some health fair. She's like, oh, yes, I'll, I'll go out and do this, and I'll do this, and I'll go there, and go here. And I was like, hold on a minute. Here's what the contracted rate is. How is it going to make you money? If you have to travel, you know, this distance, right? And you have to stay the night because it's a long distance and you're not getting compensated for that. You're working for like $3 an hour. She's like, oh, wow. I didn't even think about that. When you calculate your expenses and everything else, you know, you have to make sure that you're making enough. If you're out in the field doing mobiles, got to cover your expenses. You've got to cover everything, right? Because now you're the one in charge of that. You know, these, I, I'm, I'm going to just put it out there. There's some pyramid companies that say, you know, and that's, and keep in mind that these are dictated by the insurance companies a lot of times, but I get paramedical companies that call and say, well, we can, can you do this particular draw for us? Uh, we pay $28. I'm like, no, I can't do it because it's going to cost me more in my time and my travel and my shipping and everything else more than $28. I'm not doing this for free. And so you have to look at what are you worth? So the biggest question, you know, like I just mentioned is how do I get started? I could go through everything you want, you need to get started as a mobile phlebotomist, but why do you want to do it? The key is why. What's in your heart? What's in your soul for that? Is it to grow? Is it to serve others? Is it to um, just make more money? If it's just to make more money, it's you're not you're in the wrong place. You're in the wrong business. But if it's here, if it's to serve others better, to free up more of your time, to spend more time with your family, now you're talking. So if you're doing it in a win-win situation where you're saying, okay, I want more free time and I want to serve others better because the more we serve, the better our return. But the goal has to be to serve others. So if we're here and our goal is to serve and to serve to the best of the ability, but also have control of my time, now you're looking in the right place. Now we can talk, but your heart has to be in the right spot. It has to be in a place of serving while taking control and being in control. 
Because when you turn around and you give and you have the mindset of how do we serve others better? The compensation comes. No problem. Okay? So, how do you start in a mobile phlebotomy? It's pretty simple. You make the choice. You have to make the first and foremost, make that choice. And then test it out. See if you like it. Maybe it's not for you. Maybe it is. Maybe it's something you want to do full time. Perfect. Go for it. But how do you start? I always suggest, I tell people, check out, go to yourhealthpro.net. That's yourhealthpro.net. And check out, um, check out the platform that they have and register. You can register on yourhealthpro.net, become a provider. You can also visit uh, join me, that's join and then me, M-E dot yourhealthpro.net. So www.joinme.yourhealthpro.net and you can actually register and become a mobile phlebotomist through uh, a new group called Alpha Phlebotomy Group, awesome phlebotomy group. And basically what it is, you register, um, there's an app, you can register on the app and you join us and it's a lot of fun. And what it, what it does is the app will go through and actually you receive orders through the app. It's almost like an Uber app, basically. It's kind of like a combination between Airbnb and Uber. Because on, um, you know, if you guys have ever used Airbnb, it's a marketplace for um, providers or people that have their, want to rent out a room and stuff to provide their services, right? And how much their room costs. Well, there's a platform called Your Health Pro. It's a platform for providers to provide their services, list their pricing. And we've started a, a phlebotomy mastermind group. So check it out. Go to joinme.yourhealthpro.net. Test it out. I'll uh, come back on here, you know, watch every day. I'm going to be posting on these on how to grow your mobile phlebotomy business if you want to do mobile phlebotomy. But we're also going to be talking a lot about um, a lot about just phlebotomy in general. What makes you great? If you have great phlebotomy skills, what makes it better? How do you grow and make yourself better? Keep tuning in. Take it easy.